Hi, I'm Francis. I'm a sophomore setter from San Francisco, California. Why did you choose Yale, Franny? Ah, uh, well, for me, um, it came down to the fact that I could compete um, at the Division One level with a really competitive program um, with a lot of talent, but also do everything else I wanted to do. So, join an acapella group, have great academics, um, live a well-rounded college for years. <laughs> What's the best part of Yale, besides the volleyball? Um, the people, definitely. That's so cliche, but I mean, you really get a diverse group of very talented people. And um, I mean, my roommate wasn't an athlete, one of my best friends now. I met all her friends. Um, I feel like I know people from a lot of different corners, and there are just some really, really, really awesome people here. What's one thing about you that no one knows? Oh, that's really deep. I would say I'm a pretty open book, but I mean, I trained in martial arts for seven years. I won nationals in sparring. I was really, really into it, and I was quite good at it, and I loved it. Like, had great friends from it, but then it was really sad because I like thought it was lame when I got into eighth grade and stopped doing it. If you had one superpower, what would it be? Ooh, these are really hard questions. Okay, let me think. I definitely wouldn't do invisibility. I don't need to know like what people say about me. You know, I don't think that would be helpful. I don't like flying. I like walking, so I wouldn't do teleportation. Maybe I just want to grow like a little taller for periods of time so I could dunk. So your superpower is just to grow a couple. I just want to dunk. That's all. That's all. I mean, really, if I'm ulterior motives here, that's what I'm after. What's the last show you binge watched? I don't know, I watch the Food Network a lot, honestly, and you can't really binge watch that, but Diners, Drive-Ins and Dives, Chopped, Cutthroat Kitchen. Really, because that's my vibe. Hungry. Right, it, that's true. That's, maybe that's what it is. It's the last movie you saw in the theaters. Oh, I just did, I just saw one. Oh. And I liked it a lot. Uh, what was it called, The Big Sick. It was like a indie comedy. Pretty Very good. good movie. Thought it was well written. You know, the girlfriend, He's a Yale grad. Oh, I didn't know Zoe that. Zoe Kazan. I did not know that. Like 06, 07. How about that? Good movie. Good film. You're a new crayon in the oh. lineup of crayons. What color are you and why? I would be Lello. L-E-L-L-O-W. Because when I was a baby, not a baby, when I was very little, but I could talk, I would call scrambled eggs Lello eggs, and yellow is my favorite color. So it would be a little, like reference to my youth and I think yellow is just happy and you can't really go wrong with it quite frankly. Do you have any superstitions? I used to be really superstitious. Not as much anymore which I think is good but yeah I've been like starting to lick my hands a lot before I set and I like I think I think I'm giving myself grip or something but I don't think that's really what's happening but then I get in like the rhythm of doing it and I can't stop doing it. I don't think it's really superstition, but... What would be your personal motto, Franny? Okay, well, it's not really personal because it's what LeBron says, but I might just steal it because I agree with it. But I really like when he talks about being true to the game and it will give back to you. Um, and I think that's about like putting in the work, putting in the effort, whether that's in the game, in volleyball, or in life. And then you have to find some way to just have faith that the universe or whatever you believe in will return positive to you so you, I mean you can't if things don't go your way all the time sometimes it's out of your control just put good out and it comes back